Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD supervised version 12.3.4. We are doing our residential route test right now. And uh, yeah, it's actually snowing. So I took this opportunity to uh, go out and do my loop test and see if there's any improvements in version 12. Off the bat, we can see we're still getting the degraded message, which pops up every now and then. Uh, as you can see here, I'm on version 12.3.4. Navigation data is 2023.44.14.8.28. Okay, so they're called for around 5 to 10 kilom uh, not kilometers, 5 to 10 uh, centimeters of snow. Nice job over there, just being a little bit cautious with that pedestrian crossing. I am going to bump down my autopilot setting here to chill uh, just like we did last time and it seems to do pretty good with uh, just that setting off the bat for snow conditions Th these aren't really intense snow conditions so you can see it's like above um, best 14 degrees celsius is actually wrong uh, but it's actually just over zero degrees celsius so it's 0 0.5 i think or one degree let's say and uh, yeah, so the snow is is really coming down, but it's actually melting and becoming um, kind of like rain or like watery conditions. So the streets are not fully covered with snow. Um, uh, although you might find some slippery areas and icy conditions. Coming to a full stop here, does go ahead. It really hugs that curb over there on the right. So. Not very happy with that and a very good acceleration boost. So we're on chill mode. I mean, chill, um, what was it called? Uh, it's like we're on chill FSD profile and it's still doing a very intense boost. So not really working towards, you know, the conditions that it's seeing around it. But we'll give it a little bit more time and test test out uh, how it does on the on the rest of this route so if you folks haven't done yet please hit like and please subscribe to my channel it'll help me a lot uh, it'll get this video out and uh, reach other folks as well so that they can see fsd version 12 in snow yeah that was a very slow left turn not sure if it's because of the conditions or very harsh break there I'm just trying to um, trying to portray what's going on because you don't really get the sense of how it's driving uh, yeah and it's really dropped down to like 40 kilometers an hour here it doesn't seem like it's happy to go further more than 40 45 let's say okay so we are coming up here to a left turn Let's see how it does this with incoming traffic that's turning over here. Yeah, it's kind of clear, so it should really go ahead over here. There is a car coming up actually right now. And that and the intersection traffic lights do turn yellow, but it still continues its um, continues its maneuver, which is great. All right, so I'm gonna take out the first waypoint here. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't look like it's going to move, is it? Oh, actually, it does. All right. There we go. Okay, so we're going to come up to our little bit of a U-turn test over here. So it does stop way in the back here. I need to really push myself to the front to check for visibility. It does see a car coming up, but uh, it's fairly fairly far away is there for it to interfere with our drive okay so left turn over here and then we should be doing our u-turn over here <laughs> i like how it's, it's taking its right a very uh right stance here for this u-turn and yeah now that it's clear the very wide u-turn there 
little bit of jerkiness. We always see that when it uh, when it turns the steering wheel extreme, extreme left or extreme right. That yield sign over there is kind of covered with snow. It doesn't really detect anything. For yield sign, it doesn't even show it on the visualization anyhow. So there's no, there's nothing that we can see if there's any different behavior there. All right, there we go. We'll do a little bit of unprotected left over here as well. We'll see how that goes. I'll skip you ahead over here just because it's red right now. Okay, so it's a green light now. It's clear right in front of us. So yeah, this is a pretty easy one. A nice acceleration boost here. Push us up to 60, 68. And now it starts slowing down because of the chill profile. All right, so far so good. I'll speed you up over here so we pass this uh, red light. It does slow down quite a bit over there because there's a streak of uh, water on the, on the road. I, th I think it thought it was a, a speed bump. That's what happened over there. So we still have that issue with the speed bump. We've got an advanced green light over here. It should really go a little bit faster than this, to be honest. But yeah, given the conditions, that's okay, I guess. I know a lot of people in the comments from my previous video were, were criticizing me for, um, for giving FSD a lot of uh, critique. But I mean, criticism on FSD, you can take it or don't take it you know it's nothing it's nothing really I try to talk as much as possible because I'd like to explain to people what I think should be right and what should not it's not the it's not really my driving habits my driving habits I know there's a comment about my driving habits and thinking FSD should drive exactly like me I know that's not possible I've been driving FSD for two years now Nice slowdown here for that pedestrian crossing, not on a crosswalk. Yeah, so I understand that uh, that point of view, but uh, I still uh, I still uh, try to try to give give people as more as much insight as possible, just so that they have a better understanding of how FSD is driving. So now it's going a little bit too slow and there's a car right behind me. And I'll pull up my camera here and you can see that car is right behind me. So at this instance, I am going to give it a little bit of a tap, to be honest. Because the car in front of me is a little bit further ahead. There's another kiddo over there. Looks like they want to cross... All right, so I am going to tap the accelerator over here just because it's not going to bump up the speed any further. Yeah, and now that it sees the 50, that doesn't really detect it, so we're in kind of a crappy situation over here. Okay, so I'll remove the first, the second uh, waypoint here after this turn. Here we go. Now let's get it to do this. So we are coming up to a playground zone here. So this is a 30. It's still driving 25 on 40, so that's pretty good. We've got a little bit of a tight street over here. A lot of snow around on the street. So I'm I'm very happy with it driving at this at these speeds. There's a little bit of a wide turn. It does tend to carry over here a little bit to the right hand side more than what is really required so far so good looks like we've got a we've got some dogs outside with some people
this is uh, it's doing really well I'm quite happy with the with the speed there's a car tailgating me right now so it seems it seems to be taking that into account I feel like so when a car does come behind you and and gets very close up to you it does tend to it does tend to uh, this is a nicely executed yield turn it does tend to accelerate a little bit Yeah, this is a little bit extreme, so going away from the road just because of that uh, car coming in on incoming traffic and we've got enough space here, that's pretty, that's a little bit extreme. So yeah, it tends to like to drive around 28 on chill mode with uh, snow conditions. Okay, this is another stop intersection over here uh, with a median typically that it kind of shows over here. So we've got a left and we've got a right coming up. It is clear there is a car coming up from the right. You can see it from far away. It doesn't seem to want to go to the median. I think it's a very tight median, so it's not going to prefer to do that. Another car. Yeah, it's gauging itself. It thinks it's going to go over here. The Comet is a little bit on the slow side, to be honest. Yeah, and there's a car right behind us. So uh, that wasn't very good. And it gets out of the way. Okay. Um, yeah. That wasn't very smooth. And I, I think this has to do with a little bit with the conditions that we have right now. It tends to be a little bit more faster on turns. But again, I'm I'm comfortable with it driving on chill mode more, especially with the with the snow that we're getting right now. Okay, so it's clear on the left. Now, I'm gonna head up to the left and take this exit over here, and that was really nicely done. So very smooth, uh, cut across two lanes and go ahead let's see if it's gonna make this turn I think it is yeah not too bad great great so yeah this is uh, this is quite quite well quite well done all right let me just adjust my put in our last destination here yeah so not too bad actually no disengagement so far uh, just a little bit of an intervention why is it stopping here it's going very slow here. I think it just sees all these signs and it's like, well, I better slow down or something like that. Not too sure. Okay, so it's going a little bit more faster. I noticed the bends are not anymore on the asset as well. The visualizations, they don't show up. They used to show up all the time. I know cones were not appearing for on 3.3. .3. Now they're kind of appearing again. Let's see how it's going to take this left turn over here. Nicely done. Goes all the way to the left. Happy with that. All right, so that car in front of us just started signaling. So it did wait for a bit just to make sure it is actually turning, and then it uh, kind of advanced there. Very happy with that. No, no issues at all. Okay, so a bus is stopping right in front of us. Nice detection for that. Like, and there's even a car behind it. It does signal left, then signals right again. That was really nicely done. Yeah, really like that. And it's and it's going back to this lane because it is going to actually turn to the right eventually down down the block, a couple of blocks down there. So yeah, very happy with that. 
interaction. All right, there's a 50 kilometer speed zone sign over here. It doesn't see it because it's covered on snow. That's the problem with some of these signs. Um, and there's a yield over here. There's a big splash of water over here. Really avoids it. Interesting. <laughs> that was really cool. Okay. There's a yeah, there's a lot of water built up on that corner and it just avoids it. That's but yeah, like why why would you go back to Latin Aid and then switch over here if you want to switch over here anyways? Uh that's okay. But yeah, did that yield very well. Um it, I was hoping that it's checking for visibility. I did check. There's no cars coming, so I can't really say uh, yes or no for sure. All right, so, so a three-way stop over here. We've seen it getting confused here before, thinking it's not a three-way stop. But no, it does actually detect it. Wow, very good. That, that's excellent. And this is a busy three-way intersection. And uh, a lot of confidence in that takeoff and just committing for its... Uh, for its right of its turn. So happy with this drive, actually. It's it's done really well. Obviously, these are not these are light snow conditions. You know, I don't think it's gonna build up any further than this, just cause uh, it is spring snow. So it's not going to be um, more intense. But yeah. You know, th these are my thoughts right now. Uh, you know, I had like two, three interventions. This is really getting good. Like guys, like uh, FSD is getting really, really good. Um, very happy with it. Um, any short term, you know, short, uh, short, short drives, short destinations, close destinations that you want to drive to, and you're using FSD all day, it's going to really put a lot of uh, uh, stress out of your out of your life. If you use FSD. So yeah, it looks like there's a car coming up on our right. There's another one, but it's far away. And so there's a van on our left. Is it going to wait? Yeah, it seems like it's going to wait for it. Just because that van is actually going a little bit fast. Okay. And there we go. Wow. Look at that comment. That is, that is awesome. All right. So we've reached our destination here. Thank you folks so much for watching. If you love this video, please hit like and please subscribe. If you want to share this with someone, please go ahead and just share from the YouTube link and uh, show it to them. Uh, tell them, hey, look at this. FSD is driving in snow and it's doing great. There was zero disengagements in this drive, two interventions, and that's about it. Hope you folks have a nice, ha have a nice day and we'll see you in the next one.